Should you get the Cough Smart Plug for your smart home? Stay tuned as we find out. Welcome back to Tech Autos. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more tech and automotive reviews. Today we're diving into the world of smart home automation to review the Cough Power Monitoring Smart Plug. We bought this at full retail price from Amazon, see the link in the description below. Home automation and smart devices today tend to involve a hodgepodge of third-party apps, accounts, cloud dependencies, subscriptions, and cross-vendor incompatibilities. To bypass all that, many have turned to local solutions running entirely within your house. The most prominent of these is Home Assistant, which you can run yourself as the center of your smart home. One ubiquitous smart home device is a Wi-Fi enabled smart plug that lets you switch on and off an AC power outlet, whether for lighting, fans, or anything else, and also sometimes to monitor power consumption. It's pretty easy to find smart plugs that will connect to, say, Alexa over the internet, but how about plugs that work locally directly with Home Assistant? Not so easy. One option is to buy devices from Sonoff and other brands that you can open up, solder in some wire headers, and reflash new open source firmware onto to convert them into local devices. That's a huge hassle and way too much effort for most people. Enter Kaufman Home Automation, a home automation company started by a patent lawyer, Brian Kaufman, who is a home automation enthusiast on the side. Among his creations is the Cough Smart Plug we're looking at today, which comes straight out of the box running the open source ESP Home package seamlessly integrated with Home Assistant. No soldering or reflashing needed. There are two models of the Cough Smart Plug, the PLF10 that we're looking at today, and the PLF12, which has the outlet on the left instead of the center. They cost the same and have the same functionality, but the PLF12 is slightly newer. Let's get started with the unboxing. The box is quite small and straightforward in design. On the side, we can see it's intended for US 120V AC outlets, is based on ESP Home, works with Home Assistant, and can be flashed with other firmware options like Tasmoda if you'd like. On the back, we see the model number PLF10 and the 15 amp or 1800 watt peak, which is typical in the US. Like many smart home gadgets, this uses only 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi, not 5 GHz. The other side mentions the ESP8266 chipset, local control, and energy monitoring features. Opening the box, we see the smart plug itself. Let's put that to the side for the moment. Here we have a manual. The manual mentions you'll need Home Assistant set up first. Then you plug in the cough plug and connect to its own Wi-Fi hotspot in order to give your Wi-Fi login credentials. Next, the cough plug should automatically show up in Home Assistant as an ESP Home device, which you can then rename as desired. Then there's some info on using the plug directly with ESP Home dashboard instead, flashing a different firmware, and the chip pinouts. Moving on to the device itself, we have a standard US power plug in the center, a power button at the right, and an LED light at the left. On the back, we see the model number PLF10 and the specs. The device is pretty unremarkable in design, which is fine. It looks like a generic smart plug, and the button press feel is fine as well. Compared to a TP-Link Casa HS105, which is a cloud-based smart plug, the cough plug is similarly sized, slightly wider, but shallower. There is one potential physical issue with the PLF10 model in particular. The ground pin is quite recessed, so if you're plugging in a grounded three-pronged device, then just as a precaution, you might want to plug the device into the cough plug before plugging the cough plug into the wall, to avoid the device being energized before the ground pin connects. Now we'll plug in the cough plug. The LED is blinking. Let's move to a nearby phone will connect to the cough plug's Wi-Fi SSID. Let's open a web browser and navigate to 192.168.4.1. We'll select our Wi-Fi network and enter the password. Now let's open the Home Assistant app. There's a notification for new devices discovered. We see the cough plug at the bottom. Let's tap configure. If we go to the cough plug's IP address in a browser, we can manually turn the switch on or off.
We also see various other options and a log at the bottom. Now let's say you only want the switch to be controlled over Wi-Fi, not by the physical button. We can do that here. Now, even if I press the button, it won't actually toggle the power. Now let's update the firmware by tapping check for updates. This takes us to GitHub, where we can see the latest firmware release, which is now version 2.052, but was 1.96 at the time of filming. Our plug is currently running version 1.83. So let's download the bin file for the firmware. We'll go to OTA update and select the new firmware. Here it is. Now we'll tap update. It says update failed. Let's try the compressed version, which is bin.gz instead. So we'll download that from GitHub. Then upload it to the cough plug. Successful. Turns out Kaufman's site says to use the bin.gz file, but maybe the main interface should say that as well. Anyway, we now have an updated UI with dark mode. The toggle buttons are nicer, and we have more options now. Everything still works as expected. Now we'll switch over to Home Assistant. Here's our cough plug. We can toggle the power. And because it's all local, no cloud, it's instantaneous, without any delay at all. Below we see a bunch of data from the plug surfaced within Home Assistant, like the button press status. You can individually control the LEDs and other parameters as well. And of course, you can integrate the cough plug into your Home Assistant automations, scenes, scripts, and more. Now let's check out the cough plug's power monitoring feature. We've plugged the cough plug into a P3 kilowatt power meter. Now we've plugged in a load, a phone plugged into a Chargic multiport USB-C charger. We can see the cough plug's voltage reading of 117.3 volts is within 0.1 volts of the meter's reading of 117.4 volts. The current number exactly matches the kilowatts reading of 0.25 amps, or just under 16 watts. And all of this information is visible live within Home Assistant. Beyond curiosity about your device's power consumption from a cost or efficiency perspective, PowerDraw can also indirectly tell you about non-digital devices' status, like when a washing machine has completed its cycle. So in Home Assistant, you could create an automation to, say, turn on a light upstairs once the washing machine's power draw has dropped below a certain level. At the time of writing, the cough plug retails for $13 a plug. See the Amazon link in the description below. It's not the very cheapest smart plug around, but still quite affordable. Kaufman is also not monetizing your usage data as most of the big companies do. Overall, we've been very happy with the Kaufman smart plug. We've now used several of these for multiple years. They've worked reliably and would be a great addition to your smart home. Home Assistant is still slightly more complex to set up than, say, Amazon or Apple's smart home cloud environments, but the payoff is greater choice, control, reliability, and privacy. Cost-effective, pre-configured hardware like the Cough Smart Plug can only help improve things. Thanks for watching. If you found this review helpful, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more reviews and insights. See you next time.